Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to today's live stream. My name is Master Paul, and it is always an honor to be with you. Uh, I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Zhigong Shah, and today I'm actually in Dr. and Master Shah's Tao Healing Center in Honolulu. <clears throat> Tuesdays are one of the best days to join me as the power and frequency that comes through Master Shah's Tao Healing Center is very often extraordinary. And uh, so today is day nine of 21 days where those who wish to join are dedicated to healing themselves by service to others. And I have been getting quite a bit of very positive feedback from people that are seeing significant shifts. And um, a lot of them is in their perspective. They would have a certain knee-jerk reaction and response to somebody that knows how to push their buttons. And what they're discovering is they are reacting differently. They're responding differently. Sometimes they're not reacting at all. They're choosing to apply forgiveness. They're choosing to apply the wisdom and teachings. They're choosing to uh, smile and walk away and chant love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> so what's happening with this practice is we are being empowered to make different choices. Uh, we are being empowered to choose differently because we have tools in the tool chest of response that can be substantially more effective um, than uh, the, the ones we're working with. In other words, why do we want to use a hammer when all we really need is a screwdriver? And so when we apply Dr. and Master Shah's wisdoms about forgiveness and love and, and tolerance and how to keep that, how to actually apply that when we're in the midst of angst, um, it becomes a lot easier to, to process through. So I received a message yesterday uh, about the focus of today, and I will be focusing quite a bit today uh, on a specific subject that's part of what we're doing right now, but we're going to go a lot deeper into it so we can have even more healing uh, for ourselves through the service to others. And so um, <clears throat> yesterday was, uh, was a, a great day in that a lot of people, they hit a bit of a threshold. Um, when we do anything for a specific period of time, uh, there are layers and day eight is also an infinity symbol um, when you turn it sideways and what happens is when people go through the first eight days they get to the point where they either uh, hit that wall and wonder why they're not getting any forward progress or they say i've been here before i'm not going to do it the same way and they start a new layer a higher layer on that infinity level so uh, as we move into day nine, nine is success. And so we now have moved forward. So as a 21 day cycle, it's a, it's a goal. Um, it's an opportunity to do something on a consistent basis. And so it doesn't matter if you're watching this for the very first time or uh, uh, <clears throat> you're into day three of watching this, you do yours for the 21 days, not for me, but for you because it's the consistency of the practice that makes such a significant difference. So thank you all right up front for hitting the share button and let other people know about this. I'm gonna scroll back here and um, welcome everybody that's joined us here today. So welcome Amy Monago. Uh, great to see you pop in there at the beginning. Hi Kristen, hopefully things are going well with your daughter. Maybe she's watching today. Welcome Petra Marie coming in from Europe, very, very early over there. Welcome, CJ. <clears throat> Welcome, Dana, coming in from the Kaneohe, other side of the island. The wet side. Welcome, Teresa. And welcome, Linda. Good to see you, Linda. Welcome, Stephanie. Welcome, Rashna. Very early in the morning. Where Rashna is at? It's about 5.30 in the morning. Welcome, Kristen Rojas. Welcome, Yvonne. And you're very welcome, Petra. Welcome, Karen Lockwood. Good to see you as well. Welcome, Becky. She says, uh, not sure why she couldn't stay awake. Uh, that happens to me sometimes. Even w literally while I'm chanting, I will start to nod off. It has to do with the frequency. Um, sometimes if people go to a Master Shah event, the uh, 
in the past anyway, the divine channels would sit in the front rows. And um, people would wonder how disrespectful they could be to Master Shah because they're falling asleep in the front rows. But they, what they fail to understand is uh, the frequency can be so high um, when we're dealing with, with the power that comes through this wisdom that it can literally cause us to knock out. So it's okay. Um, so welcome, Karen. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Happy to see you, Kathy. Good to see you. Welcome, Monica. Always love your support. Welcome, Zilki. And uh, Da Fu Wu, yes. Okay, so Kristen's daughter says, Arlie, she does feel better today. Some other parts of her body are showing pain, which is kind of interesting. Yep. And welcome, Barbara. So, one of the things that happens, Kristen, just so you know, for your daughter, and this is for everybody, um, especially when you're dealing with an integral part of the body, such as the neck, the back, the shoulders, or the legs or the hips, these are all part of the fulcrum of the body. So, if your body goes through a, um, <clears throat> a long-term imbalance, you know, a car accident or something like that, um, this is documented. Uh, scientists already know this, doctors already know this, that your body has eight crossover points. And when one part of the body is imbalanced, if that part is fixed, um, then the other parts that had been altered and pushed in a certain direction to maintain balance, that one part was off balance, the others alter themselves to maintain a uh, status. And then when that one part is fixed, these others now are truly off balance. So they go through their process of rebalancing. So it's not uncommon that when you bring healing to one part of the body, other parts might show up as, as painful that wasn't there before. So that's most likely what's happening, Kristen, for your daughter. Welcome, uh, Delma. Welcome, Pat. So thank you all for joining. Thank you for hitting the share button. Let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul today. And um, I'll move uh, into what, what the teaching I received yesterday when I was uh, in flow uh, about the focus of today, okay? So placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, which is the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand <coughs> uh, gently pointed upwards. Close your eyes, fully connect to the divine. Breathe the divine in to your heart. Breathe the divine in to your heart. Breathe out any stress that you might have for the day, any of the fears and worries you might have as you're starting to enter your day. Breathe in the divine and release any stress you have, relationship stress, financial stress, health stress, breathe it out. Keep breathing in and out, breathing in the divine, breathing out the stress and I will do the invocation. Dear the Divine, dear the Tao, the Source, dear Creator, all layers of all committees up to original Source Creator, we love you, honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. I ask humbly and sincerely that you please be present at this time. Come to sit in each of our heart centers. Bless us to open our hearts. Bless us to heal and to serve others with all of our heart. Dear all beings serving the plan of the light side, including the light side stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. Dear the soul of all beings of the light side, including animals, healing animals, saints animals, angels, archangels, healing angels, masters, ascended masters, all lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, kahunas, buddhas, bodhisattvas, Dear beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, dear beloved Namo Amitofu, Shakyamuni Fo, beloved Kuan Yin, dear beloved Mani Buddha, dear beloved Medicine Buddha, and Da Shri Pusa. Dear all beings of light, we love you and respect you, and again, I bow down to all of you. We invite you in whatever way is most appropriate to please be present. Come to serve at this time as we chant to serve others. As we do our forgiveness practice, please help us to go deeply into our forgiveness that we can understand more deeply, more sincerely, the opportunities to self-clear our karma. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, honor, and respect you. We ask you to please turn on, and we invite every soul in our body, the souls of our organs, our systems, our cells, our cell units, our RNA, our DNA, the souls of our organs, 
uh, the soles of our energy centers, our chakras, the soles of our energy points, and our meridians. We love you all. We invite you to turn on love, peace, and harmony to chant with us the entire day, and especially during this hour. We invite all souls in all universes to chant with us at this time. So anyone that's new that's just tuned in, welcome to receive the blessings as we chant to get started. <clears throat> and Kristen is posting the words that we will be chanting, uh, as well as the download to the music. So you're welcome to download that if you'd like. Receive the blessings, join in the chanting. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Excuse me a moment. <clears throat> so thank you all very much for joining me today. Today is day nine, as you know, of the 21 day um, goals. You can call it a challenge, you can call it whatever you want. But when we do things, for 21 days, we have the greatest opportunity to change a pattern. And right around day eight and nine is when the opportunities start showing up. Heaven is always giving us opportunities to return. How do we return? And I don't mean by dying. To return, in other words, to open fully up and become enlightened at the highest levels. That return process is through the things that we've heard of by ancient sage, by ancient scriptures forever. See no evil, think no evil, do no evil, speak no evil. Very basic teachings, but we don't really apply it so much in life. Husband goes off on us, we get all defensive, we say something hurtful, it's a week before we fix it. One of the children does something again that's disrespectful, we don't understand, maybe it harms our ego, maybe they do something that's embarrassing, we go off on them, that creates problems financial problems, doesn't really matter what it is, 
We speak unpleasantly. We see things that aren't good for us. We think things about ourselves that is very unpleasant for our health and well-being and about others that is certainly not good for the karma between us. And we act and do things uh, often that simply is not beneficial in the biggest picture. And so part of anything that we do for 21 days is the opportunity to put a spotlight on what we can do to improve areas of our life that are not bringing the greatest value to us. And so in, in this 21 day process, we, I've asked you to choose a specific area. <clears throat> and yesterday I asked you to comment if you're starting to notice any differences. And some people did and some people, um, maybe they weren't fully present or maybe they hadn't seen any differences and that's okay too. But the key is to put a spotlight on one area that has been really stubborn. It's something that just doesn't seem to be easy to transform. One student said, you know, that she's focusing on her knee, but there is as pain comes and the pain goes. And she recognizes that it's significant karma. She has received healings for that area, and yet it still comes and goes. And so that is an important thing to answer. Some people could receive a healing blessing from a divine channel like myself, or it could simply be a lighter level divine healing hands blessing. And yet that same problem remains. To very typically, there is uh, some deeper reasons behind it. It could be that it's a negative mindset. It could be something that has to do with a, a negative experience or what's called a negative memory. In other words, it might not be karmic. It literally could be something that at the soul level is a negative memory and it just doesn't want to go away until you recognize that, that what that memory is and, and very often it has to do with self-forgiveness. Uh, often negative memories have to do with a very traumatic thing or a self-forgiveness thing. So if you're one of those that has tried just about everything, including the karma cleansing, the special blessings from divine channels, etc., and it just doesn't seem to be getting past that certain point, very often what it is is it has to do specifically with the um, a need to look deeper at uh, uh, blaming ourselves or uh, a trauma that occurred where we need to do a very deep forgiveness practice around that. And that leads me to today. So yesterday when I was, I was uh, kind of in a meditative place, I asked, I said, what can I do differently in this Tony Day challenge? I don't want to be repeating the same thing every day and bore people. I want to, to make sure that they get a different value every day, but it's all in alignment. Um, and what I heard was, you need to teach them much deeper uh, uh, forgiveness. They need, they need more girth of understanding about the nature of forgiveness and all the different ways it can be offered, all the different things it can be offered for. So I'm going to start by offering a flow. Instead of teaching you, uh, I'm going to ask Kevin to give us all a teaching on the nature and depth of forgiveness and all the different ways that it might be offered, okay? So, um, and eventually this will, will be uh, typed out and so you'll have it to refer back to, but of course you can just hit repeat on the video and watch it. So dear beloved heaven, dear the soul of the saints in heaven that are in charge of forgiveness, all the heaven's teams, uh, heaven's animals, to the soul of the highest teachings in the heavenly library that can be brought at this time to be spoken through me. Could you please come? Uh, dear the soul of all of those watching at this time and in the future and our individual heavens teams, please uh, bring your, uh, what you would like your, uh, uh, the soul that you are responsible for to hear and, and let that voice be borrowed as well, so that when I speak, each of those that are listening receives an aha moment for themselves. Could you please collectively come together, borrow my mouth, and allow me to speak. Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. So right away, Jesus came. I don't know how, how long Jesus is going to feel off of the whole message or what, but he definitely has a message. Hey, uh, yo, uh, hey. Beloved ones, 
I am the same as you. I am a soul that has returned to the heart of my beloved Father. I come to each of you every day and in many cases every hour. How did I achieve such a pure state of being? I went through tremendous testing and purification that few are aware of. My life was a living challenge, much as yours is. The greatest of those challenges was when I was given the opportunity to hold others responsible for the suffering I experienced. And you know what has been written about the forgiveness that I offered. But what is not known is the reason. It is important for each of you to know that those that brought the suffering to me in that life wherein everyone knows me as Jesus was one of many lifetimes I had had. And in previous times I was not such of what you would term a benevolent being. There were lifetimes in which I had made wrong choice, selfish choice, lifetimes in which I turned away from others who needed my help, and they died as a result of my fear to not serve them. There were lifetimes in which I did not forgive those who had hurt me, and there were lifetimes in which I judged and criticized others' belief systems, held their beliefs against them. And there were those that had died. So I want you to know this, not so that you question all that you have read, but so that you know that I too was human that all human have the same struggle from lifetime to lifetime to clear their spiritual debt. Did you know that those that put me on the stake had also suffered as a result of some of my wrong doings? Not in the same way, but metaphorically speaking, they were also put on the stake because of my assertions that I was right and they were wrong in previous time. You see, the wheel of life goes around. And so one aspect of my statement, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do, is in relation to the understanding that everything goes around. I have come to tell you this so that you do not see yourself as the victim, as the one that is always suffering. I have come to tell you this so that when you offer forgiveness, you remember the heart from which I offer it to all those that had caused this suffering to me in that lifetime. My forgiveness to them was full and complete they had no karma with me at all. And in fact, many, many of them have come back to serve the message that I brought. 
And so it is with the wheel. And so it is with all of our lives that we have choice. And the greatest of those choices is always to forgive. This is my message to you on this day, my beloved brothers and sisters, daughters and sons. I am your beloved Jesus. How I bow my head nine times to beloved Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this sharing. Countless bow downs. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs. So it is a a very poignant message, one that I'd, I had no idea, never heard until just now. Um, so please forgive me, heaven, if that message is not accurate. I believe it was accurate. I had no, no idea what would come out, so I hope it serves everybody. Um, so I believe there's more information to come. Give me a moment. How? This is the soul of one who is in charge of heaven's library. Heaven has many layers, many libraries, many teachings and wisdoms that are only accessible once a soul is advanced enough. I have pulled from the shelf, from the second layer of this library, a teaching on forgiveness, and I will offer it to you at this time. How? It has been said that forgiveness is to be offered to all regardless of the plight against thou. When one makes amends, forgiveness occurs. Forgiveness is not to be freely offered. It is to be given. The difference is to freely offer it is to say, I own it. To be given is to say, it has never been owned, it is simply coming through me. Forgiveness is an aspect of fullness, oneness, an aspect of recollection of the whole, of the all. Forgiveness is a recognition that once amends have been made by the responsible awareness, then the release of those layers that had been temporarily put in place to create healing then occur. There are many that have seen the results of the release of all that they had been holding on to and instantly their lives change. This is because the direction they were headed had it not been impeded by a suffering would have been straight to the heart of the divine. It is the imposition of falseness and lack. It is the imposition of judgment, criticism, the belief that one is better than another in all the ways it shows up. The separation from love of self, love of creator, and all of the separative offsprings that occur as a result of these imbalanced thoughts that create a great deal of the blockages. And it is the application of forgiveness to all things.
things that do not feel in balance. Regardless of a stalled car or a splash of mud and water by someone driving by, it is the application of forgiveness that washes away the layer, the temporary layer that would keep us from moving forward. See your life as a straight rocket to heaven with layers of temporary opportunities and with each one whence forgiveness is offered it clears and you move higher it is the constant clearing and moving higher that is possible for all souls such as our beloved Jesus he applied this wisdom to every soul that is called unconditional love hence his elevation this is what can be shared at this time from this layer of this record in the halls of Heaven's Library. It has been my honor to share it with you. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I was getting shown images at the same time. Trying, you know, he's describing them, I'm being shown these images, and it kind of looked like... Um, like um, you know, like a thermometer, clear, just a clear vessel straight up, and they had these like opaque kind of see-through feathers almost, and the feathers seemed like they were just oh blocking everything, but they were really just a feather. It was really just a light um, facade almost. That's what the image they were showing me. And they said, you know, you forgive it, and that feather just zip, disappears, and then you go a little bit higher, and then there's one on this side, and zip, disappears, and a little bit higher. That's what that's what they were showing me. So, hopefully you guys got something out of those two flows I did. <clears throat> so, welcome Esther, welcome Helun, uh, welcome Barka, welcome Victor, welcome Ali, and Ilona, good to see you. Welcome C, welcome Jota, <clears throat> and welcome Joanne. So, these two teachings on forgiveness are very, very important. And as we, as we do our forgiveness practice today, <clears throat> I wanted to, um, I listened to Master David many times do a forgiveness practice. And if you've not had a chance to, to, to do any, any of the services of Master David, I do recommend it. He, you know, he takes forgiveness to all the different nooks and crannies that rightfully should be looked at. You know, I'll give you an example. We look at a relationship, right? Um, let's say we've all had a relationship with a significant other, a love relationship that's gone sour. Or maybe it hasn't worked out so well. There's a lot of nooks and crannies there. And if we actually went and looked at each of those and asked for forgiveness for each of those, um, and how do you find the nooks and crannies? We sit with it for a little while. All the different places that we felt hurt, criticized, judged. Um, very often we blame them. Could it be, could be the wrinkle on the face? It could be the, the slander about the weight. It could be, you know, that they um, uh, had an extramarital affair with somebody else. And then that, that brings up all of our self-worth issues. All of these things we place on the outside of us and then we struggle our whole life. But if we simply took every single one of those and did forgiveness with every single one of those individually, one of them is how we judge ourselves. Let's say that one of the spouses does something with somebody else and then we break off and then we feel so, so little and inferior afterwards. It's just an example, right? Well, <laughs> did that help us in any way, shape or form? Probably not. So we need to, to do deep forgiveness around all those little judgments that we took on as to why I wasn't good enough or worthy enough or what did I do wrong, blah, 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 blah. You could probably find 20 different angles. Those are all the little crevices that keep us from moving closer to God. Those are all the little feathers 
that heaven was talking about <clears throat> that um, we might have caused others to experience. What if we were the one that had cheated at some point in time to somebody else, maybe not even that same spouse, but if we had um, chosen to, to be with another and it was hurtful in that relationship, they could have had all those little self-hurt things that we have. Okay, And so when we identify all those, we could apply this wisdom that we now have. We can say, I'm going to ask for forgiveness to all of the souls that I might have caused these kinds of experiences with because they're very painful to me. They're keeping me from self-love. They're keeping me from connecting to the divine. This is deeper forgiveness. This is what Heaven was talking about yesterday with me. They're saying we need to teach the students that these different layers of forgiveness can be accessed and a lot of it is self related a lot of it is self love related these are pertinent and really key to um, to our ability to rise higher and when we do something like that and we come across that best friend or that sister uh, that has had a experience somewhat similar someone that's going through deep levels of suffering maybe they want to take their life whatever it might be then we've already had the, the wisdom to know how to make a better choice. We can then offer them love and guidance and support and empathy. And, and once they're starting to listen, we can say, you know, let's go ahead and do a little forgiveness practice around this. Let's forgive ourselves first. You, because you have done that, uh, or maybe you will have done that given this deeper wisdom, <clears throat> you then save that person's life. Heaven makes a huge note on your record that a life was saved today because you took the time to learn how to do a depthful forgiveness. So this is some of the teachings that Heaven wanted me to bring to you today. So let's do one together, shall we? So it's going to be hard for me to address everyone's individual, so I'm going to have to choose one subject matter and do a deep forgiveness with that for everybody, with you, with me, and um, <clears throat> we'll do it together for each other, but I want you to take the depth of this and apply it to your particular uh, major, major issue in your life, okay? So I'm going to work with finances. Everybody, uh, <clears throat> uh, I shouldn't say everybody, but a great deal of us, probably over 70%, uh, wish we had a bit more financial blessings in our life. So I'm going to work with depths to finance and just go into some of those crevices, okay? And we're going to work on this for ourselves and with others, but take the deeper teaching away from it, all right? So let's do this together. Place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. Repeat after me. Dear my beloved Creator, I love you. I know you have showered me with your unconditional love and I know that it is all of my separations, karmic conditions that have kept me from feeling and fully experiencing your 100% unconditional love. I ask for your blessings today that I can receive the depth of this teaching for forgiveness so that I can apply it in the different areas of my life and come closer to your heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the soul of my finances, continue to repeat, dear the soul of all souls in this lifetime and in all lifetimes, that I or my ancestors have harmed financially. I love you, honor you, respect you, appreciate you. Could you please come at this time? I wish to apologize. <clears throat> Dear my own soul, my heaven's teams, could you please be present and assist in this forgiveness? Continue to repeat. And as I do this, don't just repeat. Feel where we're headed. Dear all of these souls that have come, my name is, state your name, I truly, truly wish to apologize. 
I have become more aware that my financial limitations are directly related to creating suffering upon others. All of you have come because on some level, in some point in time, either I or my ancestors have harmed you and created financial suffering for you. I wish to sincerely apologize <clears throat> if I have kept you from achieving a promotion in any job. If I have taken credit for anything that you have ever done, where I was promoted and uplifted and you were forgotten. If I have ever made accounting errors where you did not receive what you were supposed to, or I bilked you, cheated you from receiving what you should have received. <clears throat> if I or my <clears throat> ancestors have ever made false agreements, agreements where we changed our mind, fraudulently changed the wording, the verbiage, or the written documents. If I or my ancestors made agreements to offer one product and then switched it and offered an inferior product or no product at all. If I or my ancestors have ever made promises or agreements and broke our promises and agreements. If we have sold you land or buildings with certain agreements that they would have things on them or under them or in them and we knew that they did not. If we have lied knowingly or in any way made things appear to be true when they were not actually true in any form of legal paperwork related to finances, earnings of money. If I or my ancestors have shaken your hand as a friend, as a family member, brother, sister, mother, father, and said, thank you for this loan, I will pay it back but we did not. If we failed to complete any of our financial obligations and agreements of any loan at any time, if I or my ancestors have taken your land, your livelihood, your business through false methods through loans and making the loans come good faster than they should have or through legal manipulation. If I or my ancestors have in any lifetime made vows to you that we would accomplish our tasks and you had bet on us so to speak you had made agreements and extended yourself financially because you believed in what I had promised I would do and as a result you or your loved ones had suffered in all of these cases and more I truly cannot bow down enough I truly cannot ask for forgiveness deep enough. <clears throat> I think about how you and your family may not have been able to go to the store to buy bread. 
you may have not been able to buy medicine for your sick children because of my and my ancestors' false statements. You could have lost your livelihood in business because we built you and told you one thing and then cheated you. You could have lost your livestock because of something that we did that brought poison to your animals. If I or my ancestors have caused such financial harm that your health, your stress, heart attack, your children were unable to get the necessary health care that they needed because of choices that I and my ancestors had made, how can I ever bow down to you enough in forgiveness? If you have lost businesses because we sold you wrong product, inferior product, and from that loss of business you witnessed centuries of your family's fortune dwindle down to nothing, and your children having to marry lesser families and your land being sold off all because of us offering you an inferior product knowingly. How can I ever bow down enough for this suffering you, your loved ones and your families may have experienced? The answer is all to all you souls. I can never bow down enough. I can truly never ask for forgiveness deep enough for the incredible suffering that all of you must have experienced. I know because I have spent nights crying to God to please help me financially. I have spent days pounding the table wondering how things could possibly get better. I know that it's just a very small amount of suffering I have experienced compared to what you possibly have experienced. I am so very, very sorry on behalf of me and my ancestors. I beg of you your unconditional forgiveness and I know that to ask for forgiveness is not enough, that I need to serve, that I need to go out and help others, <clears throat> that I need to help them to make better choices, to not harm others in finances, that I need to bless others that they can have a better, healthier and happier life. And I promise to all of you that I am doing that and will continue to do that. And I ask most sincerely that you pay attention to my service, to my sincere forgiveness. It is with my most sincere heart that I ask that you release me of this financial burden, this debt that I have that my ancestors have incurred. I wish you to know we have learned our lessons. I wish you to know that I will not make the same mistakes again. I invite you to chant love, peace and harmony with me as we serve all souls who have had a similar experience. I wish to offer the greatest love, peace, and harmony to all the souls who are suffering financially as a result and to uplift all those souls that are on the receiving end. Please forgive me. I forgive you entirely. I forgive you for all of the suffering you have brought me in this lifetime and in all lifetimes. I forgive you fully and completely for your reminding me through causing me such great financial suffering in this life. I know that you have brought this to me as a reminder because I and my ancestors harmed you so deeply. You want me to know how much you suffered and I am so grateful for this most blessed reminder. And I want you to know I hold no animosity, no anger towards you 
to all of the souls that harmed me in this and all lifetimes, those that I have held a grudge with, those that I have loaned money to and they never paid it back, those who hurt me in business, took advantage of me. But if I have held a grudge against any of you, I release you fully and entirely and completely because I now know that I and my ancestors could have created this suffering in the first place. I ask all of these souls to chant with me, love, peace, and harmony, that we may all fully release these blockages and move forward in prosperity and abundance. Let us chant together. The visualization is gold coins falling on all of those souls who had ever suffered financially other than us, and they didn't deserve it. <clears throat> they suffered because of greed and corruption. Let us bless them. Let us chant together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin her ling. Wo ai chuan ran lei. Wang ling rong her mu shi sheng. Shong ai ping on a she. Shong ai ping. On her she, I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Visualize food coming to those children who were starving. Visualize openings for a job for that soul that so deserves that job. Visualize those souls that had been taken advantage of being given new opportunity to start a business. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. See hundreds and thousands of souls lined up. They are receiving bread. They are receiving rice sacks. They're receiving food. They're receiving job offers. One after the other, they receive an offer. They go to the next one after the other. They're being handed opportunities and jobs and food. All of those souls who had suffered unnecessarily because of our greed, our family's corruptions, they are receiving this virtue because of you. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. 
Lu la ha, lu la la li, lu la ha, lu la li, lu la, lu la ha, li, lu la, lu la ha, li, lu la. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai tran ran le. Wan li hing rong, her mu shi shang, shuang ai ping an er xie, shuang ai ping an er xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls. Together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Repeat after me, dear my soul. All of the souls in my body, please chant love, peace, and harmony as I do, and chant Da Quan Shu, greatest forgiveness. Dear the countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, treasures, and blessings in the Da Quan Chu calligraphy, the greatest forgiveness calligraphy. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Can you please come at this time and offer to all of those souls who had been harmed financially the greatest forgiveness so that they can forgive those who had harmed them. Please offer teachings and wisdom to all those that had harmed others as appropriate. Let us chant Da Quan Chu, which means greatest forgiveness. Da Quan Chu, 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 Da Quan Chu. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. You please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Ask for forgiveness from those millions of souls that have been harmed financially. Their whole families, their children, their heritage has been harmed. Ask for forgiveness with all your heart. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. See all those souls lining up. 
they are giving you a branch, a piece, olive branch. They are saying, I forgive you, your loved ones and your ancestors. They are forgiving you. Be so grateful for the forgiveness. There are some whose arms are crossed. Give them your full heart. Let them know your sincerity. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. And now let us have one conversation. Dear all of these souls that have come, I love you all. I have truly become aware of the reason why I have suffered so much financially. I take responsibility on behalf of me and my ancestors. It has been my greatest honor to feel your suffering today, for now I know just how much you suffered. I wish you to know I have learned my lessons. I do not say that so that my life becomes easier. I say that so that you know my truth. I will not steal and cheat. I will not take advantage of others. I will not make wrong and false agreements. I will not take others' land or property. I will not do those things that are greedy and corrupt. I vow to you that I will not make these wrong choices moving forward. And I ask for your complete and unconditional forgiveness. I have learned my lessons. I am extremely honored and grateful for this opportunity to receive your forgiveness. Regardless of you offering me your unconditional forgiveness, I wish to offer you my unconditional forgiveness for all lifetimes you may have harmed me. Please let us move forward in love, peace, and harmony. And bow down your head, bow to all of those souls that you and your ancestors may have harmed, and then return and share. How was this experience for you? We thank Divine, we thank the Tao, we thank the Source, we thank all of those who came to offer their service at this time, including the countless saints, saints, animals, heavens, angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascendant masters, all of the calligraphy saints of Dak Lan Chu. We thank all of you for coming. We ask you to please remain until the end of this practice, but we are extremely grateful for your service. So please share now, how was this experience for you? Did you grasp the difference in the depth of a true forgiveness? Where you go into how others truly could have been harmed, how it could have impacted layers of their families. It's the same thing for a relationship. If, if people have made vows to you to, that they would love you forever and they have not in this lifetime and you felt so hurt from that, how has it impacted you in the way you communicated with your children? How has it impacted you in the way you did your job? How has it impacted you in your finances? How has it impacted you in your health? So imagine if you had done that to them. Imagine uh, that you had broken a vow of love forever. The same things happen. You want to go down those unpleasant places so that you grasp the depth of why those souls come to us. There is a reason we suffer. There's a reason we have that physical pain. There's a reason we have that financial blockage, that heart 
blockage. The reason is those souls that have been harmed come to remind us. When we can go to those depths that they felt, they very often release us fully and completely of our debt. That is how we move the feathers and go past what has been blocking us. That is how we find our way back to the heart of the divine as quickly as possible. And that is how we go from this place of stuckness that we are, the place of victimhood that we are, that is how we get to the next level. That is how we have that better job, that healthier relationship if we're in one, or that newer, higher, better one that we've always wanted. That is how we have um, any shift in our life, is by clearing those level of blockages. The last clue is to apply the higher treasures to it. Apply the soul power. Ask heaven to come. When you bring love, peace, harmony, when you bring soul power, the calligraphy power, the angels, saints, all the beings, they bring so much more forgiveness with them. And that assists those souls that have been so harmed. The holy beings, they come and they melt their hearts. They say, look, this soul has learned their lesson. It's time for you, this dark soul. You were once a beautiful light soul that had been deeply harmed and you came to remind them. But it's time for you to return to a light being. It's time for you to let go. That's why we ask heaven to come. That's why the holy beings are so important. That's why the power Master Shah has brought to his books are so important because they bring that higher love essence. They soften the hearts of the darkness. They let them give us the opportunity to let go. Some of them will sit on the outside and they'll watch and they'll go, let's see, I'll let go, but I want to make sure they learn their lessons. They might even give you a, a test. In the case of finances, they might give you a test. Are you honest? Are you not honest? If you're honest, they say, okay, I believe them. I, I permanently leave. So this is, this is not something that, that heaven created for us. It's been created as a result of our separation from each other. It's been created as a result of separation from the divine when we went against each other instead of supporting each other in selflessness. This is the, the higher way of looking at everything. And it's just a matter of applying it in every day in life. So uh, I'm, I'm excited about the sharing. I see that there's some good stuff coming in. So I'm going to read these. Uh, <clears throat> Kathy Campbell says, Wow, very powerful. Teresa Brown says, That was really deeply felt. Monica says, Greatest gratitude, Master Paul, for this deepest forgiveness practice and thanks to leading us so that we now uh, this, know this time. It could visualize completely. Now we need to ask forgiveness and offer forgiveness. Uh, Teresa says, Now she understands things a little bit deeper. Heartfelt and, and very moving. Moved to tears. CJ says, Thank you. She had a headache, but now it's gone. Blockages being moved. Great. Gwen says, oh boy, I saw the little lights of spirits. Uh, and she saw them lined up in a cobbled street getting bread and jobs and then smiling. Yeah, that's what I was seeing too. I was seeing it was more like the 1800s. Um, Dana says, could feel blockages moving out um, of his heart space. Dagan in. Dagan in is, is greatest gratitude. Um, Mijram says um, something in, in German. I wish I could read it, but I can see the word blessings. And danke, 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 which is thank you, thank you, thank you. She says, good night, Master Paul. Uh, thank you, everyone. And Ali says she couldn't stop crying. Wonderful. Your heart is moved. Now take the depth of this practice and apply it to your condition. Okay? When you do this step of practice to your condition and then you serve all those others, you start to understand how much pain they are going through. You serve them unconditionally with love, peace, and harmony. You ask all the souls in your body to serve them unconditionally. You ask heaven to serve. You can move mountains. Your particular blockages could be dramatically released and reversed. It's very, very powerful. Okay, and she says, third practice of the day. My words can only begin to touch the beauty of the energy and entire practice. Thank you, Master Paul. I thank Master Shah. I thank a divine down source for bringing my spiritual father. Guys, truly, it, it, 
everything I offer is borrowed. I didn't invent any of this. This is what my spiritual teacher and father teaches. I encourage you to learn more about Master Shah. Truly, you're, you're, you're harming your soul journey if you don't understand that I, I, am, I am nobody. I am just a guy repeating a true message. The message came through a true master. Learn more about Master Shah. Uh, you're very welcome everyone. So we went over today about 15 minutes. Thank you Facebook for not cutting me off. <laughs> so look forward to you moving forward on your soul journey. Look forward to continuing on these 21 days. Wherever you start, you go your 21 days. Call me if you have any questions. If any of you feel you are blocked in this forgiveness area, I'm happy to offer you a crown chakra blessing or the blessing I offered uh, currently which is a soul operation and a special blessing along with that for your particular forgiveness condition or anything that you'd like but either a crown chakra or that for this con forgiveness condition um, the first one is normally a 150 dollars honor fee it's in half 75 for uh, until the end of the year and the crown chakras are, are still the normal honor fee of 100. Uh, contact me if you want me to assist you in that area um, Facebook message me however you want to. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to all the holy beings that are present. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody. Have a great day.